So on my Google TV device, watch what happens in the next three seconds. So three, two, one. I now see a custom screensaver. So this is something that unfortunately Google have now blocked on all newer Google TV and Android TV devices. If your device is running Android TV version 12 or higher, you just can't choose a custom screensaver. I think they're forcing everybody to use the Daydream one, which is just a collection of photos, or you can alternatively use Google Photos. But that ability to choose your own third-party screensaver, they've just um, blocked it for anybody running the newer Android TV devices like the On 4K Pro or the Google Streamer 4K. Well, as you can see on my device, I'm able to do that. It's working absolutely fine. I can pick any screensaver from the Play Store or I can sideload my own third-party screensaver and I can set them on my device. And the way I'm doing that, if I press the home button, is by using the all new TDUK screensaver manager, which has been written again from scratch to be fully compliant with the latest Android TV or Google TV operating systems. The previous version of this was written by Sween Wolf. If I open this up, it has a very easy to use interface. On the right hand side, we can see all of the screensavers that is detected on your device. Anything new that you install will be automatically added to this list. On the left here, we can customize the start options and also customize when your device actually goes to sleep. Let's say, for example, to change to this screensaver called full screen clock. Let's press the select button there. Now, just like my other applications, they do require you to enable USB debugging in the developer options, which I will show you in just a second. But for now, I can click on grant permission. Let's now click on always allow and allow again. That should now give the correct permission. Now I can now change the screensaver and we can see the screensaver has now changed the colors. If I now go over to open screensaver, and I should then automatically start the screensaver. So let's press the select button there. And we should now see some colors. So a bit of a random screensaver, but that's working fine. Let's go back. But let's say, for example, I want to use full screen clock. I can press the select button there. We can also test that. So open screensaver. And this is basically what the screensaver will look like when it starts automatically. And we can see right now on my device, I've set the timeout for the screensaver, which is the daydream timeout, to be five minutes. If you want to change that to one minute for a quick test. Let's just confirm that's working fine. Let's now click on save values. And now automatically on my device, the screensaver should start. So let's see if that happens itself. Now I can just use the magic of video editing. You can see my hands here. Let's see if the screensaver starts in the next few seconds. Is that going to work first time? And there we are guys. So now automatically after one minute, that starts the screensaver. Let's say for a quick test, we want to install a new screensaver. But I can open up the Play Store. I can now just search for screensaver. Let's see what options we see. Got the very popular aerial views there. You've got some photo gallery. There's the clock one. Here you got one called Aerial Dream. Let's click on that. Let's click on Install. Let's give that a second. Let's see if we now also get this in our selection of different screensavers to use. So uh, let's not click on Open. Let's go back. Let's open up the TDUK Screensaver Manager again. Let's see if I now see this in the list. There you are. So you can see here you've got Aerial Dream. And then here you've got Aerial Views, which is the previous one. So let's click on Aerial Dream. That's now selected. Let's now go to Open Screensaver. And just like that, we're now using another custom screensaver on our On 4K Pro. And that's working great. Now to enable the USB debugging on all of these devices, just navigate over to the settings. Go to All Settings. Scroll down to where it says System. Go over to where it says About. Let's press the Select button there. And go down and where you see your build number, you can see here, if you just press the select button here seven times, eventually you'll see a message at the bottom saying that you are now a developer. Once you see that message, you can now press back, go down, and you should now see these new developer options. You can press the select button there, scroll down. Now on the On 4K Pro, you can see I've enabled USB debugging. On other devices like the Nvidia Shield Pro, you actually enable an option called network debugging. But if you only see one option, which is USB debugging, turn that on, and you can then go ahead and use my application. Now to get my application, open up the Play Store, go to search. You can just type in TDUK and I should show you my applications I've got published on 
the Google Play Store. So the first one is the app killer, which allows you to terminate, properly terminate, properly full stop all of your background applications with one click. That's that one there. Next one is a DNS switcher, which allows you to change your DNS to encrypted DNS servers. The big benefit of using encrypted DNS is firstly, your ISP can't see your DNS queries, but more importantly, you can actually set ad blocking DNS servers, which means really from that point forward, once you've enabled encrypted DNS, you won't see any adverts on any of your streaming applications, especially some of the third party ones, which have ridiculous amounts of adverts. Enabling this, it will just block all of them automatically. This is the basic cache cleaner. And this is the new application here, the TD UK screensaver manager. Just like the other applications, it costs $1.99. It's a lifetime license. One license will cover all of your Android TV devices. Doesn't matter if you have five Android TVs or 15 Android TVs. You buy the application once and you can install it on all of your Android TV or Google TV devices. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.